better to induct Alan Jackson into the Country Music Hall of Fame than Loretta Lynn? You're right, no one. Last night in Nashville, Alan Jackson became an official Country Music Hall of Famer, along with Jerry Reed and Don Schlitz. The induction ceremony included performances from George Strait, Alison Krauss, and Leanne Womack. But by far the best moment of the night was Loretta Lynn's surprise appearance. You know, the first time I ever met Alan and seen Alan, he, was, he looked like a scared little boy. Uh, <laughs> he was uh, practicing backstage going through his songs. And I remember I looked at him and I said, you're gonna be one of the greatest singers in country music. He hadn't let me down. <laughs> no, this is the first time I've been out of the house, Alan. You're the only thing that would have brought me here. <laughs> I love you, honey, and I want to say congratulations. And I am so proud of you. And uh, I'm glad that uh, you're being, Hey, you should be here. <laughs> Thumbs up this video if you're smiling from ear to ear right now. Jackson's response was perfect. Loretta Lynn said I should be in here. <laughs> That's it. That's all I needed to hear, so. The evening ended with a medallion ceremony tradition. With Strait, Lynn, Jackson, and Connie Smith leading the audience, the building was filled with a sing-along of the Carter family classic, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Will the circle be unbroken? Bye, 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 bye. Thanks for watching, you guys. Click to subscribe, and if you're in the mood for another feel-good video, remember when Randy Travis surprised everyone at the Hall of Fame with a verse of Amazing Grace? Grab the tissues for this one.